Often, it's hard to find inspiration on what to automate using Python. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about seven Python packages that can inspire your next automation. This package is the most obvious of all. Usually, when you want to automate something, you come across with APIs. And to interact with those APIs, you need some simple to use library. That's where requests library comes handy. Usually if I want to replicate a request, I go to network tab and from there click the request that I want to replicate and then select copy as CURL command. And then I paste that CURL command to websites that can convert CURL to Python requests. And that gives me the code I need. It is that simple. One pro tip is that if you want to run your automation without keeping your laptop on all the time, you can use GitHub Actions for it. So we talked about making HTTP requests. When I make some API requests, I often want to run it periodically, like every 15 minutes or so. This is where Advanced Python Scheduler Package comes handy. It's really simple to use library and it has well written documentation. In fact, I use that library when automating screenshots using Python. The link to the video and the project will be down in the description. CSV stands for Comma Separated Values and it's one of the most commonly used file format for spreadsheets. This library can be handy when you try to fill your tax returns or try to build some automation to calculate some stuff. And the best part is that you can open those CSV files in programs like Microsoft Excel, Google Spreadsheets and so on. How often do you want to observe some folder and do some action based on the changes? This is where Watchdog library comes handy. Basically, it allows you easily to observe the changes in the file system and do some action. For example, use cases could be you want to clean up your screenshots folder or you want to clean up your messy desktop. In fact, I should have used this library when I was building Google Calendar and screenshot automation using Python. It is really hard to imagine automation without web scraping. For example, let's say you want to keep track of some prices on Amazon or you want to order food automatically without interacting with the website. For these kind of cases, you can use libraries like Selenium, Beautiful Soup, and Scrapy. Since Selenium is a test automation tool, you can use it for doing actions on some websites. Beautiful Soup is good for simple projects. And if you have really complex project, you can use Scrapy. So do your own research and find the library that fits your needs. Let's say you have built an automation to keep track of prices. How would you keep yourself informed about if the price is changing and you need to sell or buy some stock? Well, this is the case where you can use Twilio library, which allows you to send SMS messages or make voice calls. Last interesting library is called Random User Agent. This library allows you to add random user agents to the request that you are making. Using random agents could help you a bit on not getting caught while scraping data or sending many requests. That's all for this video. Links to the libraries and their documentations will be down in the description. See you in the next video.